really rather disgraceful. Murrinbutch Stansinger had some silly little obsessions. He found it very hard to go to sleep unless he first checked that all cupboard doors were shut and that his bedroom curtains were tightly closed. He knew it was ridiculous, but if he left a cupboard door ajar or the bedroom <coughs> curtains askew, he just couldn't get to sleep. He would lie awake in the darkness imagining those yawning black chasms through which some unspeakably hideous nuisance might emerge at any moment. He would fight it, of course, but reasoning that it wasn't worth the risk, he would get out of bed, check inside each cupboard, and carefully shut the doors. He would inspect behind each curtain and meticulously draw them closed. One day, Nigel Clark came round. He was carrying a new burgundy-coloured briefcase with brass catches. He was going away and he wanted to give Murren the dates. He opened his case and took out a leather-bound diary which matched the briefcase in colour and insignia. He took out a pen of similar design. That's very smart, Nigel, said Murren. Yes, said Nigel. It has a calculator, an address book, pockets for my credit cards, and spaces for paper clips, envelopes, writing paper, stamps, checkbook, and just about everything. Ah, said Murren. Une place pour chaque chose, et chaque chose a sa place. Nigel liked things to be just so. And he liked to think that he had immaculate taste for fine things. He really had an absurd obsession about his possessions and became uncontrollably distressed if they were marked or damaged. That night, as Nigel was leaving, Hodgkins rode past on a motorcycle at great speed, accidentally knocking Nigel's burgundy briefcase from his hand. The wheels ah. of the bike ran squarely across it. The collision caused Hodgkins to swerve into the side of Nigel's pristine sports car. After much consoling, Nigel was put to bed on cushions in Murren's crack. And so that he wouldn't have to look at his distorted briefcase, Murren put it in the cupboard and carefully shut the door. And so that Nigel wouldn't have to see his damaged sports car, Murren meticulously closed the bedroom curtains. Then he put out the light. Nigel's so ridiculous, thought Murren to himself, with his silly little obsessions. Mm -hmm.